I saw some woman who wrote on Twitter, if a man is ever changing diapers, there's something seriously wrong with your relationship with or with the or the home it is a sign the family has much bigger problems. And the stupidity of that was just so great. I couldn't leave it go. I mean, because but it was a reflective of what I was seeing. The problem I thought uh, the problem I, I thought I saw, which was that a lot of people were confusing the particulars with the principles that there are principles for how a family should be ordered and they're based in sacred scripture they're based in the tradition of the church and those are principles that we should never cave on and unfortunately most in the church today have caved on those principles but what it ha what's happening because we have so little guidance from our shepherds about those principles I saw some commentators were focusing on the particulars, like a changing diapers type of thing, which is not a principle. There's nowhere in sacred scripture. Our Lord says, okay, dude, you can't change diapers. And so I was that that was really the impetus for writing this was like say, let's focus on the let's make sure we know what the principles are. And let's call out, frankly, our church leaders who don't uh talk about the principles. I mean, how many of them are just terrified to preach on the teaching in Ephesians that wives should submit to their husbands. And then also though, we, on the other hand though, let's not get it where we think traditional, the traditional family order is trying to imitate what we think is 1950s Catholicism. I realize just how absurd it is that we live in an age where a man can be sitting in his air conditioned office uh, with his food that comes in a little plastic wrapping, you know, with his little nail file in his drawers, if he has a hangnail, and uh, he's calling other men beta because they change a diaper. And I just, I just can't, I can't take this seriously. All of us are betas compared to the pioneers and the whatever, if that's your, if you know what I mean? Right. So you just have duties. You just do your duties. There's no other thing. It's not inherently masculine or feminine to vacuum or change a diaper any more than it's inherently masculine or feminine to change a stall from a newborn calf. You're just literally getting rid of feces. That's all you're doing. And obviously with women, there's a, an aspect where, of course, they're designed to be nurturers. That's that's clear and obvious. So, yes, the general rearing of the small children, it perfectly makes much more sense for a woman to be doing more of that. That's how God created things. But these duties of things, these are just things you do. To make them into these, these super dogmas is the height of absurdity. We are so far removed from virtue in the sense that Catholics always understood this thing. So now we get into this place where we're having this petty tit for tats about like, well, how many hours a week should a wife work? It's like work. What are you talking about work? What do you think work is? Do you think a nine to five is work? Yes, you're putting in hours that are part of production. But what do you think work is? Work is work is creative. You know, all Catholics who were working, there was never this idea of the full time work week. There were simply things that had to be done because there was a, a symbiotic ecosystem of a family within a community that had the church as the center that needed to happen based on the rhythms of life as a Christian. You know, a blacksmith didn't say to himself, I've got to put in 40 hours this week to make my mortgage. A blacksmith said to himself, I have X amount of pro uh, uh, projects to finish because I've been hired to do them. And then he put himself into those things. And his wife might, quote unquote, work with him because she would come out and help him. I don't know. It's like, I need some kindling. Can you help me with the fire? Can you, you know, I need to change the water for this or whatever. She, there was no, there was no idea that, well, there's work for a woman and then there's work that she can't do. It was just, this is what has to happen. This is our reality. And then I'm going to delegate all the things that need to take place. So I think... It's so difficult for, for, for men to even conceive of how to talk about things like women working or the changing diapers and things like that because they're already using distinctions that aren't even real. They're not, they're not, they're, they're, these are artificial distinctions. The cubicle is not real. I know it's real, but you know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm trying to be a philosopher here. The, the, the sitting at your desk doing emails uh, for cold call marketing, that's not real. That's a, that's a task you're doing. Uh, so your wife's at home vacuuming or something. The vacuum's not even real. You're not even touching the dirt. We don't even touch the earth anymore. And so 
before men even get into these places where they're going to go on and on about, you know, well, I think it's okay if you change the diaper, uh, in like the third trimester of the pregnancy at some point, or it's like, it's just shut up, just go and be a real man and do real things. And you'll realize it all falls into place. But until that time, it's just like, you know, clanging gongs. Thank you.